okay everyone welcome back to another video um in this video i'm going to be showing you how to um set up um the breakdown and tactical analysis of the 4-2-2-2 formation uh, with four defenders two middle centers two attacking middle left middle rights and two um sts so let's just get right into it and uh, i usually don't use this formation so i do not have a striker that is as strong for this formation as possible as I am like in my team usually but um, what I have I'm gonna be showing you the formation with it and the tactics with it so let's just go right into it so as for starters our defense is gonna be the same um, the four defenders two DCs uh, almost in the sweeper position kind of laid uh, kind of staying back and uh, the two def uh, defenders uh, although the defenders are going to be moving upward into the box of the D and C almost over here and uh, this one also going to be moving forward and uh, we are going to be switching off the arrows since uh, we are not going to be using them mainly for the defense they are also going to be covering uh, somewhat of an attack as far as uh, the uh, middle middle centers it, here they are these are two middle centers now it depends if you if you if you want to be playing in an attacking formation then you might um, try using them up above the middle center line if you want to be using them in the defensive formation then try using them uh, behind the middle center line i would uh, prefer usually that to play them behind this uh, middle center line that you can see uh, because it 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 uh, it lessens the gap between your defense and attack and hence uh, you won't have to use long passing formation which might result in loss of possession always uh, not always but usually so okay so we're going to be switching this attacking middle omc for the striker since we're going to be using two strikers for this formation we want the um, the wingers to come for the ball and not the ball to be transported to the wingers so we're going to be using them uh, in the box of the AMC. If I, what I mean by the box of the AMC is that we're going to be placing our wingers in between this area, which is also the AMC's area, so that the wingers kind of move into the number 10 position and get the ball instead of just waiting and hanging around over here this part, rather waiting for the ball. So for this formation, we want the wingers to get the ball, come and get the ball. So we're going to be placing them over A, kind of into the defensive position because uh, up ahead the field we're gonna be having two strikers now uh, I usually don't use this formation and uh, for you to use this formation I would like to say over here that if you want to be using this formation make sure to have uh, stronger STs because um, in this formation STs are gonna be of use as well so uh, as for the STs we're gonna be using here we have two STs um, like this if you want to be using uh, two STs you can also use them uh, one as a um, one as a forward and one as a ST whereas one would um, manage the assist and the other would mainly just tap in and score if you have a player that is really strong in finishing over here in the skills if a player is really strong in finishing then make sure to um, use him for uh, the striker position so as soon as he gets the ball he just taps in and scores the goal where this one will be responsible for uh, the forwarding and uh, creating the assist so this is how you uh, would uh, normally place two STs over here. I would usually uh, place them behind this behind this penalty box line. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, if you place them behind this penalty box line, what would happen? What would happen is that um, your players would not usually get uh, the offside. If, if if the players are above this, if your players are above this uh, ST line and into the penalty box there is a high chance that usually your players will get uh, an offline offside trap get into the offside trap and get a offside foul if you place them behind the ST line they usually will not get the uh, uh, offside attack uh, which which comes really handy while playing so as for the tactics uh, as i said and as i always said the team mentality depends upon the sort of player that you're facing if you're facing a very strong opponent make sure to having it set to hard defending if you're facing a very weak opponent make sure to have it hard attacking as for now i'm going to be facing a normal uh, uh player that is in range of five percent within me so i'm going to be using the normal um team mentality as for passing make sure to pass be passing down the flanks or if you have i have uh, my player is 
uh, strong in the wing so I'm gonna be having both down the flanks if you have normal wingers and really strong strikers if, you, if that's uh, the position you use to score then make sure to have the formation set to um, through the middle so you know so that your players usually take the ball from the middle and give it to your strikers um, it, and so now it depends if you have strikers that are very strong and you use them to score make sure to have it through the middle if you, you have such that in my case if I use wingers if you use wingers as well make sure to have it set to uh, down both the planks now passing style for this formation uh, must be short because there isn't much gap in between your attack and your defense as well as there are middle centers over here that are connecting your attack to your defense so there's not going to be much of the um, a difference between your attack and defense and you can use short passing it will also help you in keeping the possession of the ball force counter attacks on passing style pressing style it depends if the, if the opponent is really strong you can use high if the opponent is kind of normal you can go for low now tackling style uh, should always be normal man-to-man uh, -man depends uh, man -man depends if you're playing a really strong guy then make, make it man-to-man -man. if you're playing a normal guy play, make it zonal and yeah th these are the tactics the main tactics over here are the passing style which is which which should be short and the uh, focus passing which should be down either down the flanks or either through the center depending upon uh, the players you use to score so yeah this is the tactical breakdown and analysis of uh, this formation which is 4 2 2 2 and uh, yeah that is it for this video guys uh, hope you like the video uh, make sure to subscribe until next time peace out